so you wake up in the morning and it's raining outside. I know it sucks, but going back to bed is a luxury you can't afford, cause you have a job or other things to do. And weekends are the only time you can skate. So why not make the best use of the slippery ground and find something you can do? Power slides just do the job. It comes in different variations. Front side, <laughs> I thought it was back side. And back side, and front side tail power slide, or should it be called run? I don't know, anyway it's fun. You may even add a grab to it. Nose power slides, etc, etc. Whatever variation you go for, the principle is the same. You must hit the right balance between your board getting closer to you and your body getting farther away from your board. Let's break down the physics. When you power slide, you have to take into account two factors. Number one, the friction between your board and the ground that stops your board's movement. And number two, the energy of your body tries to fall toward the ground, which potentially could send your board farther forward. These two forces have to balance perfectly. In other words, too much friction between the ground has your board stick to the ground, and too much downward force may cause you to shoot out your board. This fundamental principle applies whether a backside power slide or a frontside nose grab power slide or whatever it is. An obvious tricky part is to lock into this position. You might not be able to swing out your board 90 degrees while rolling if you don't know how to do it right. There's a reason behind this. Simply put, while 100% of your body weight is pressing down your board, you can't move it. In order to effectively swing out your board, you should crouch down and raise your body before moving your board. This way, you can loosen the pressure of your body weight, which also reduces the friction between the wheels and the ground, and makes it easier to move your board. Also, don't forget to wind up your shoulders to start the horizontal spin. At the same time, start shifting your weight backward. Try to figure out how far back you should lean, cause it varies depending on the condition of the ground. You might want to consider multiple factors, including the smoothness of the ground, its moisture content, and the hardness of the wheels. While sliding, maintain your body's center of gravity behind your board so that you can slide longer. Also, both of your feet must be pushing your board with the same amount of energy to keep your board at the right angle throughout the slide. And at the end of the slide, loosen the pressure on your back foot. Your front foot and your board still has energy to go forward. So without the pressure on your back foot, your board spontaneously turns back into its original direction. Just for your reference, let me show you how the conservation of rotational energy works in power slide. When I swing out my board counterclockwise, my shoulders turn clockwise. And their angles remain the same when I'm sliding. But when I release the pressure on my back foot, both my shoulders and my back foot return to their original positions. That's how my body conserves the total amount of energy. Let's talk about this more in detail some other time, it's really important. And that's how you power slide. Aside from it, there are still some more things you could try in the rain. Manual, for example. If you're tired of normal ones, try one foot nose manual. How about some freestyle tricks? Castle flips or 360 castle flips? Although, it's kind of difficult to do them in the rain, but there are ways to have fun. Lastly, please give your board some love. I know you're busy, but it doesn't mean you can leave your board after skating in the rain and let it get rust. Make sure to remove water, dismantle it, oil your bearings, and let it rest in the sun. As always, you can interact with the 3D models you saw in this video. While the trick has released some useful tools, including the seek bar and loading progress indicator, please give it a shot from the link in the description and give me feedback. And that's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't catch a cold. Until next time.